Hello, boys and girls. This is Miss Tech, and I am here to show you how to get to Seesaw um, from Clever so you can access your activity. So first, you're going to go to Clever. Over here, you have this blue C icon on your browser. You're going to click on that. It's going to take you to your login. Log in with Google. And then you're going to see your portal. And here you have all of your different apps that you can access. And you should be logged in on every single app if you are coming from Clever. So first you're going to find the Seesaw app, which looks like a bow tie over here on the left. So I'm going to click on that. And now I am in my Seesaw portal. Okay, so now I'm going to find my name up here in the top left corner. I'm going to click on my name and it's going to bring you to a drop down menu where you can access your different Seesaw accounts. So you have one for music, one for um, STEM, one for art, one for your classroom teacher. You are going to find your music Seesaw. So it's going to have music in the beginning of that Seesaw name and then your class name and then the year, okay? So I am going to find, let's say, Mrs. House class. So I found music for H 2021. I'm going to click on it. It's going to take me to their seesaw, okay? Now I go over here to the left and I am going to see an icon that says activities and it has a light bulb on top. I'm going to click on that and that is how I access the different activities that are being sent to your class from me or from any teacher, okay? Um, so I am going to click on the virtual xylophone because that's what I'm working on today. I'm going to click on the picture. It's going to get bigger. I'm going to click on this picture again, and that is going to take me to the website where I can access my virtual instrument. To make my virtual instrument bigger, I click on this box right here that has arrows going four directions. That's going to make it bigger. I'm going to press on this green icon and then that's going to turn on the instrument so I can access it. These different numbers up here are the numbers on your keyboard that you can press in order to play the note that is associated with that bar. So for example, if I play a number one, I'm playing a, a C note, okay? And as I go up, the scale, I can use the different numbers to play different bars on my instrument. All right, I can even play two bars at the same time. So for example, today we will be using G and D. So I would play number five and number nine at the same time. So I'll have to use two hands. And now I can play it just how I would if I were playing a normal xylophone, okay? All right, happy hunting, and let me know if you have any questions. Good luck, guys.